Okay, yesterday at the drag strip, I broke the RX-7. Uh, I think just the axle broke. I don't know, maybe more. Didn't really look at it yet. But I guess uh, I'll make a video on how to pull it out. First thing you undo, is take the wheel off, take the calipers off. Oh right, yeah, next thing you want to do is uh, pull, take the caliper bolts off. There's one up here at the top, and there's one down here underneath. So once you break those off, make sure to hang your caliper from like your coilover, so you're just not hanging on the brake lines. Okay, now that you're under the car, you're gonna want to take these coilover bolts off, one on each side. Um, the two diff bolts right here, one right here one right there and then there's i think it's a 22 millimeter there's one right there one on the other side and that little cup that it's uh holding the subframe on i think that's a 12 millimeter and then right here uh, let me zoom out why am i zoomed in right here the little camber bar i think that's a 17 and then your subframe should fall most people need to take their drive shaft out but the only way to get it out is to drop the subframe with it since it's a 488 diff. So uh, I guess I'm going to do that real quick. Okay, I think everything is loose. I just got to pull those coilovers off the subframe and uh, just undo the four bolts or just hand tight. And then the subframe should drop. Unless I forgot something. So uh, let me do that real quick. Okay, the diff and subframe should be falling now. Um, this is actually a lifesaver. This little stand I got. It's a $99 Harbor Freight motorcycle stand. It holds the diff and the subframe at, a, at an even level. That way it comes down straight. And my diff and subframe are solid mounted. Okay, we're stuck right now. And my diff and subframe are solid mounted. So uh, they have to go on perfect. And get you a pry bar too, just to pry them down. Oh, that's free. Something's stuck. I think it's just a driver's nut. Now it's free. It should, it should fall. Okay, maybe you just gotta wiggle around a little bit. Okay, now there's tension on the subframe. That's free. Okay, this is the stuck, stuck side. Alright, there we go. It should fall now. Oh, I see what it is. This stupid ass stand has like these safety things. There it is. And it hit the safety again. I just need to cut those off. They're annoying. And now the drive shaft is stuck in the transmission. I forgot about that, but on this Ford 88 brand, the only way to get my drive shaft out and put it in is to uh, remove it with the subframe. There we go. Now let's pull this thing out. All right, got it out, got my broken axle out, but there's the aftermath, forgot to make a video right after I did it. Got wheel hop at the drag strip. Broke this right off. Turbo two axle. 